I'm Eric McCormick with Careers Inflatable, the inflatable life jacket for animals. My father, Daniel McCormick, invented the product and patented it. And I'm a mechanical engineer taking over the company from my father, and I've got some great ideas to make the product even better. Well, the Careers Inflatable Life Jacket is an automatic inflatable life vest for your dog that automatically inflates when it gets submerged into the water, making it both more comfortable out of the water and safer in the water than a foam life jacket. When your animal is wearing a Careers Inflatable Life Jacket, out of the water they're going to feel the same as they are in a harness. It's going to be very comfortable for them. They're going to be able to walk around, lay on the ground, do whatever they need to do. When in the water, they're going to feel a lot safer. They're not going to have to struggle to stay afloat. They're not going to be splashing as much. They can just relax or play or do whatever they want without struggling. The idea came from my father, who was working for the U.S. Coast Guard and was working with manufacturers that were making inflatable life jackets for people. And he thought, well, why don't they also make these for animals? So he went to his workshop and started designing one for dogs and cats. This is a first generation large cruise inflatable life jacket. It has a handle with reflective tape and industrial strength D-ring. The straps on the top are fully adjustable. The strap on the bottom is fully adjustable, not just side to side, but forward and back using a special interlock system. It also has straps that allow to keep any loose straps from occurring. Everything stays nice and tight on the system. You don't have any loose straps. Under the neck, the strap here allows for the inflation to stay close to the body but keep any pressure off the neck. There is a collar on the front that allows even the wiggliest of cats to stay in a life jacket. On one side we have the automatic inflation system. And on the other side, we have the oral inflation system. Attaching to the edges of the bladder are straps that allow the edges to stay close to the body instead of flying high. A foam life jacket when out of the water is very bulky and reduces the range of motion and also unnecessarily keeps the dog hotter than it needs to be, especially on a hot summer day. When in the water, foam life jackets are close to the body and don't provide much if any stabilization so it allows the dog to roll. There also is very little, if any, flotation under the neck. And so many foam life jackets can actually cause the dog's head to go into the water instead of lifting it out of the water where it's needed. The Cruise and Flava life jacket, when in the water, provides superior buoyancy over a foam life jacket by providing buoyancy not just around the body, but under the neck where it's really needed. It also provides superior stability so your dog can't roll over. Between the stability and the buoyancy, it makes it so that your animal doesn't have to work when they're in the water. If they're tired, they can just relax and float. First generation Curse and Flavor Life Jacket, large on, we got sugar here. We got the upper and lower harness adjusted. Custom fit to her. Under the neck is nice and snug and around the neck for the collar. We got the D-ring handle. And uh, before going out, verify that everything's good. Make sure you got the green on the green, means we're good to go. And also verify your CO2 cartridge. And make sure there's no puncture hole in there. <laughs> All right, sugar. Yeah, good girl. Good girl. Happy girl. I'm gonna deflate using the oral inflation tube. Before she got in the water, the harness was really comfortable for her and um, just was easy to put on. When Sugar uh, was in the water and it auto inflated, uh, there was just a very brief 
momentary sort of realization and then it was back to swimming. Very easy for her and non-startling. Pretty intuitive, uh, the device just uh, with the red and the green, uh, very visual and, and I thought nice, easy user experience. So when Kira had the vest on before getting in the water, she seemed to be acting normal. Unlike the regular full in, um, foam life vest, it's warm and uncomfortable. This she was walking around, running around, even up the stairs, as if there were nothing on her and just a regular harness. Very simple, putting the vest on, it's just like any other harness, a couple of straps and buckles to tighten, and then it was on. This is how you put it on. You put the top part up over his head. This strap here comes around and buckles behind his neck. And then if you've ever used a backpack on your dog, there's two straps that go under his belly. We haven't put it on him before, so we're having to adjust the straps to fit Rusty, who so far doesn't mind having it on him. I like the fact that it's not covering his complete body so that he can breathe and it's not going to be as hot on him when he's not in the water. Good boy, Rusty. Good boy.